and we're back for another episode. In this episode, I'm going to be hitting rank 4 with the Exali. So, I today, earlier on, I hit 510 out of 510 reputation, which is required, obviously, for the next rank. And then another quest has been unlocked by Cecil Totalok. So let's see what it is. And remember for the Exali that there is seven ranks, not four. So the quest is called Lave to the Party. It says Cecil has another request that requires a featherless one's touch. So have need of Mifri's help, Cecil does. So close, so close we are. Taking shape before our very eyes, Diesel Kulan is. Hull for body, engine for heart. Next fashion muscle to transfer power to wings, we must. Developed by Fevelous once, Aurelium Technology was very advanced. First exile in history to design and build our own engine we are. Function perfectly, main engine components do. Flawless was Tataramo's design. And abundance of materials for upcoming tasks we have. But tiny problem there is, maybe not so tiny. Machine tool for cutting transmission parts we have not. Many intricate gears and cogs harness power produced by engine, propel propulsion system they do. With one precision gear wheel then make lathe to grind such parts we could. Our best hope Mifri is beg, borrow steel, but I have that gear wheel we must. Only fabulous ones have I and we speak, seek. Rest on Mifri's shoulders, fate of Diesel Cool undoes. Okay, so let's talk to Tataramo, see if he can give us an insight where the item is. So I was listening in on Cecil's lamentations. It would seem we are in need of a new leaf, or failing that, a new a part that will allow us to build one. A gear wheel such as the one we see must be the highest must be of the highest degree of workmanship. Should it be wrapped by even the smallest fracture fraction? That imperfection will be reflected in the turning of the lathe and make crafting of precision components impossible. No, it must be sorry, it must be one made to extremely exacting specifications. I speak of difference of a single hair's width here. In the entire realm of Eorzea, I could count on the fingers of one hand the master artisans who are capable of forging such a piece. And even should we be so fortunate as to secure the services of a talented individual, we must consider the time it would take to craft the gear wheel. Our project might languish for weeks, if not months. It would be far better were we to focus on obtaining an existing gear wheel, and then somehow convincing the owner to part with it. A lathe, a lathe. Now, where have I seen a lathe before? Ah yes, I have vague memories of seeing one in grandfather's workshop, which was somewhere outside the city. Uh, Mifri, that's it. You must return to Gridania and speak with Colson once more. He's been with Highwind Skyway since the beginning. If anyone were to know what's become of my grandfather's lathe, it would be Colson. He likely, he will likely be in or around the Carnal Canopy. The old man was never far from the airships when not attending to business. Okay, so let's, I'm going to return to Gridania and look for Colson. So this is moving along quite steadily, quite quickly. So it's kind of fun to see how the story of the Exali is unfolding. And once we hit the maximum rank, we'll see how the story finishes, if they actually will get to take off. And we'll also see as well if the new rewards uh, will be good, like all the wind-up new pets. And the new pets will actually count towards this achievement right here, which has been added in. Let me try and find it. Sorry, not this one. Beast Tribe Quests. This... this the quest here, this achievement, the, the friends forever, the negotiator. This is when you've finished all five of the beast tribes and finished the new quest that they've added in just for this um, patch. Oh, did I run by him? Maybe he's outside on the balcony. Yep, here he is. 
So, yes, yes, I remember you. My eyesight may be failing, but my mind is yet sharp. Thank you very much. You're the last Master Tataran we employed as his delivery girl. Surely the materials I provided you were sufficient, yes? The young master wishes to know what became of the lay from his grandfather's workshop. Well, now, that does bring back memories. It must be nigh on 50 years ago now that I began my apprenticeship with Tatanora, a famous adventurer and businessman. I still recall the day he conceived his revolutionary enterprise. He proposed the idea of building passenger balloons that shared the principle, if not the purpose, of exactly dirigibles. His company was the very first air travel service in the realm and marked the birth of high wind skyways. Of course, it was not until around 30 years later when Sid Garland brought airship technology to Eorzea that flights between cities became a regular occurrence. Those were the days though. If I close my eyes, I can still see the workshop, can still hear our excited optimism as Tatanoro and I worked tirelessly on the construction of that first balloon. Pray excuse an old man is reminiscing. What were we speaking of? Ah yes, laves. I believe the lave Master Tatsu Ramu refers to was one we used in the old Folgard workshop, but I'm afraid the place was shut down and dismantled from for lumber after Tatsubaru's assumed management of the company. It was the end of an era after all. I wonder if there are any still in Fulgard who remember that time. Perhaps you might try speaking with the employees of the bobbing cork. Okay, so let's speak with Arlun at the bobbing cork. I'm not sure where it is, but okay, the bobbing cork is just the tavern that's in the Fulgard float. Remember when viewing a map, you can click on the A for right and teleport there directly, assuming you've obviously been there before and attuned yourself. So, welcome to the Bobbing Cork, friend. Will you be needing a room? No? You've come for a drink and some gossip then? Um, a lave? I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with the term. Some manner of tool from the old Skywars workshop that used to stand here in Folgor? A pity our previous owner has moved on. Ten years I've worked here, but never have I heard talk of any such workshop. Well, I may know naught of any lave, but we do have a mountain of unclaimed possessions that we've been adding to since the dawn of bloody time. The inn has the largest storeroom in town, you see, and it's the favoured Requily, requillery for all manner of unwanted and forgotten artifacts that once belonged to either residents or customers. I need to look up what that word means. Only just this morning I thought to clear some space by throwing away the oldest and dustiest relics. You're more than welcome to sift through the pile outside and take whatever you wish. Okay, so let's look for the pile outside. Where is it? There it is. There is the gear wheel that we need. Aha, I can't see. So, Mifri, is that what I think it is? The gear wheel from the lathe. I came to Volga on the barest of remembrance, but I'm certainly glad I did. The workshop itself is gone, but some things are too precious to simply fling onto a midden heap. One of the artisans must have saved it. My grandfather was always well respected, you see, and even in his later years he would take me to see the workers practicing their trade. Listen well, Tataramu, he would say. Coin has its uses, but all of true value is brought with passion and persistence. To reach the highest skies, you must spread your wings and soar. His words of wisdom were as the sweetest lullabies to me as a child. It was likely his influence that encouraged me to pursue my love of airship design. Hmm, what's this? The face of the gear wheel is engraved with a dedication of some kind. For my dear friend Duzal Kulan, 
On these wings I pledge our everlasting bond, Tata Nora. Uh, but this would mean... Mifri, let us return to Eka and deliver this treasure to Diesel without delay. There are certain questions to which our exile colleague may hold the answers. So it seems to be implying that given that this gear is from a long time ago and is from previous management, previous masters, that they might have been pursuing this project to build this airship for the Exali for a very, very long time. And only now is it really kicking in, is actually taking full momentum. So I'm, I guess we'll see what the leader of the Exile says. And things are moving along nicely really, I'm working towards a couple of my other luminaries, I'm trying to get as many field crafty material frees as I can to buy all my patch 2.3 crafting tools. So it's just, there's always something to do in the game, so if anyone who feels that there isn't much to do really, unless you have every achievement in the game, then there's always something else you could find yourself doing. So anyway, Cecil says, nervously waiting for Mithri's return, Cecil was, re re realizing deciding, decidedly unblessed wind bowels were. Okay. <laughs> so it says, lathe, gear, wheel, one of the myriad precision parts which make up the wood-shaped lathe used in crafting facilities of FCAT. Another cutscene. So yes, exactly what we need, this gear wheel is. Good, good, good. Edging more, much closer to reality dream of Diesel Hulan is. Uh, Cecil, there is something I would ask you. Uh, Pale Tataramu looks, nervous belly like Cecil. Ask permission to use Lantern Trench, Tataramu need not. Ah uh, no, I perhaps uh, you should just read the inscription on the gear wheel. Inscription? Ah, see tiny words Cecil did not. For my dear friend Diesel Kulan, on these wings I pledge my our everlasting bond, Tatanara. Tatanara is my grandsire. He is a man who founded High Wind Skyways 46 years ago, and I'm fairly certain we've all heard that second name before. So, care to share the source of your amusement, Cecil? Too perfect it is. Destined to fall into our hands, this gear wheel was. Duzor Coolland, outcast and genius, first chief of Egat 9, master balloon maker, and Cecil's respected mentor. Your mentor? Then the name of our hybrid ship? Uh, yes, one and the same. Think of a better way to honour chief's memory, Cecil could not. Then it was true. Mm -hmm. I speak of an old rumour which was said that grandfather's company was built on his appropriation of Beastman Aeronautics, that all the balloons he flew were not more than base limitations of exile made vessels. It is a rumour that was officially denied, and any mention has been thoroughly expunged from written records on the assertion that even unfounded claims of stolen Beastman technology would unduly harm Highwind Skyway's reputation. I had thought it merely the rumblings of rivals sick of envy at grandfather's success. Uh, yes, envy it was. Envy that led your ancestors to steal our genius. Thieves and liars. Cecil, I... Uh, pulling Tataramu's tail feathers, Cecil was. Judging by words on gear wheel stolen from us, this knowledge was not. Friends they were. Shared craft with Tataramu's grandfather, Diesel Kulan, did. Okay, so it's not sinister, this though he implied, it's just saying they have a history. So, see it clearly, Suzar Khan. Two dreamers gazing into vast sky, one feathered and one not. Not so different our past and present, eh? Fate has had a hand in our meeting, it would seem. I am honoured to continue the friendship our elders began, Cecil Totalok. 
So dust in Cecil's eyes there is. Back to work. Swiftly now, or find tongue shortened on new leave, Tataramu will. Okay, so let's complete the quest. There you go. So your reputation has increased to trusted. You have achieved trusted reputation with the Ekat 9. You Exile Beast Tribe daily quests are now available from Tazul Mayan the Lettered at Edcat. Nice. So you see it's, it's growing and growing into a proper airship. So it says, thanks to your diligent efforts. Cecil's crew can now use their new lathe to craft the gears and cogs that will transfer power from the engine to the wings. Continue assisting the Eckert 9 to see the airship hybrid reach completion. Okay, so for now I've only got one more Beast Alliance for the day, but let's see how the new quest is. So it's from this guy, Tazul Mayan the Lettered. So you see one more allowance. So let's say you reach for the, the starboard. So to complete this quest, you will need to change your class to botanist by equipping a hatchet to your main hand. Interesting. Because in the previous rank as well, you actually needed to do fishing in one of the quests. So this one requires botany. So they're trying to just get you to explore all classes in the game, all crafting and gathering as well. So Tazul May on the letters has need of a capable craftsman to lend form to his genius. The crafting portion of this quest is recommended for Disciples of Hand level 10 and above. Now, Fevelous One wishes to help lend shape to my genius, yes? Starboard wing I make. Make components for this, you will. What components, you ask? Um, Airferic sailcloth for wing. Ideal for trapping wind energy. Fort sets of high, highest quality I need. For crafting special materials, you need. To obtain them, trade with Black Rabbit Trader at Fulgur Float, you must. To him, 15 pristine oak branches and 5 pristine oak logs you give. Find these near Proud Creek, you can. When materials you have, use crafting facility at Fulgur to make components you can. Okay, so we need to find these pristine branches and Proud Crook, so right there. So if I switch to my botanist. Now, this sort of area is okay, because it's it's, the monsters there are level 30 or less, so it's no problem. But the monsters up here are 40 plus, so you have to be careful going into this area. It doesn't really matter to me, because I'm level 50 everything anyway. Oh, I wonder if these guys are using this place to spirit bomb. I have to check it out sometime. I guess it would be easier because I can just stand perfectly still. Okay, so it's kind of up this hill to be away from the monsters. And the level 5, so you can. Let's see. Okay. So because it's up the hill, you will avoid the monsters as well, but just be careful in this area because, like I said, some of the monsters, especially the duller hands, like these are 45 plus, the duller hands are 48. So stay away. This rare hidden thing means you'll only get one of them per gather, and that's how the maps are marked, the treasure maps when you get them. Huh. Oh, oh, down there. Never mind. Now, for the ones that are rare and hidden, you can only get it during this thing, whereas these pristine oak branches, it seems I can get them forever. So, two more. 
and you don't have to worry about if you feel gathering classes are boring or whatever because when you're doing the sort of gathering the amount of experience you get per hit is very very generous so I was able to level all of my gathering professions up fairly quickly compared to my crafting and if you need to gather something for hours to level up then just watch a film, put on some music, do something to keep your brain occupied and then before you know it you will have all the items you need. So for example today I was actually mining raw ambers because I need them for my for a craft I'm doing at the moment and you can see here how many I got in just a couple of hours just because like I did exactly like I said I just put on music and so on so gathering is it's really a test of your patience if anything but I'm, I'm able to get through it just by keeping my brain occupied okay so now we need to go to Falgo float so I'm just going to teleport there to save myself a few seconds for anyone who views my videos but doesn't actually play the game if the question ever comes up of is it fun to do is it really worth it really really it is because you can see that even after a year even after almost 400 episodes on my youtube channel i'm still having fun i'm still enjoying all of my time here i'm always finding new things to do like i just got my room yesterday and so on there's always achievements to farm and so on. Like, I can't really play any other game, to be honest. Especially now that they're adding more interesting stuff. Like, I, I fed my chocobo something like 40 different um, combinations of fruits earlier on. So we'll see maybe in the next couple of episodes whether you suddenly see me with... I'm aiming for a purple chocobo, but we'll see if it actually happens. Okay, so I'm going to switch to my weaver and equip the beast tribe gloves to do the craft. Okay. So we're just handing over the component. Okay. So now we need to make four high quality starboard wing components. So high quality wing components. Here you go. Synthesize. <laughs> so now it's above level 10. I actually need to put in a little bit extra effort for this. I mean, for regular viewers as well, you know I've got all of my macros, so there's nothing I can't synthesize at high quality. But I'm just trying to do this as quickly as possible. Okay, done. So let's now go and turn them in. So, for people who've been paying close attention to my gill, if you ever watch my gill, you see that in one episode it's 6 million, then it's 2, then it's 7, then it's 1, and so on. The reason why is because I'm constantly reinvesting my gill in order to get my crafting ever higher. And But I am getting to a point now where I will reach the maximum that is possible. So once I pick up the 2.3 tools and finish melding my offhand weapons, then I'll be at what is effectively the cap. And I will be making videos to cover that as well. 
And then, from then on, if they don't add any more new content, then I'll be able to just, uh, every gill I earn, just keep it for once and put it towards personal house. So anyway, he says, ah, Featherless One returns, starboard wing components of highest quality, I trust you have. Let's hand it over, it said the component to be used in the creating of Diesel Cool Land's starboard wings. So, precisely to specifications they are, most impressed I am with my genius and your deft hands to infinity and beyond we will go. Okay, so we get 24 rep and a retain adventure, which is always welcome. And that's it, but I've run out of uh, allowances for the day because that's what I had to do in order to get to rank 4 and in order to get to rank 5 I'm gonna need 720 reputation so we'll see how many days it will take if I had to calculate let's see 6410 it'll take about probably just under a week to get to rank 5 but yeah I mean the the time is passing so quickly I'm already rank 4 so um, you know a couple more weeks probably I'll probably say in about three weeks, maybe a month's time, then doing this every day, then we'll get to the maximum. So, but I don't know. That's that's another point is that for all we know, it might get to the end of rank four cap and then you might have to do different things for ranks five, six and seven. It might just be quests because a, a question that did come up, um, I'm not sure if this guy can answer it. Uh, let's see, quote, no, not this guy, let's try this one. Yeah, so someone asked me before about these Ixali Ognots. So it says, currency of Ixal Ognot is, Ognot you find, trade we will make even with Featherless Nuka. Okay, so the question came up before is, has there been any word yet about where we earn them or anything like that? And basically, so far, no. Um, but given that this beast tribe does go up to rank 7 and we're already at the trusted level We will see if they come into effect. So anyway, that's it for this episode I'm gonna quickly check the guy to see if there's any interesting rewards Okay, so just some random materials and a couple of dies so nothing special so far and Yeah, so that's it. Thank you for watching and as always goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri.